We're gonna keep moving towards those connexes. Hug the tree line, stay low. Oh, you still got point. Hello again, everybody. This review will be of the 6B50. It is one of their offerings to their current infantry of ballistic goggles. It, they are ballistic rated. Come with this nice cover. And it also comes inside a pouch, a molly pouch. In here. Packed by molly. Nice pouch. I used it for other purposes once I put those on my helmet. The goggles are rather nice. You have this interesting a system here. And it kind of keeps it from bunching up. There are no vent holes, so they are pretty much a full dust type goggles, if you will. I used them briefly at the Airsoft game. Um, they fogged up pretty quickly. You know, so we had to ruck a decent distance to get to where we were first going. They were about $50 for what they are. I do recommend them, but if you're going to use them for airsoft or extended play, they might fog. I mean, you might be able to use some anti-fog or maybe cut some venting holes. But I do believe that they have another model or two that do have different type of venting holes that I didn't really even consider looking into that much. It's okay. I had a backup setup iPro for the event that I ended up using. So quick overview of the 6B50. Alright guys, next thing up for a quick review is the 6M2 Electronic Ear Pro. It was a modernized version of the ver model they had before. The one they had before was a black versus an OD. I'm not sure of the actual changes. I think the adjustability of the head harness was one of them. I didn't own the model beforehand, so I'm not 100% sure on other changes, but I do believe I read that one of the main changes was the adjustability and reliability. Each headphone has a compartment for a AA battery. Just same cap as on that light. You just unscrew it, pop your new battery in. On the front here, you have these here. These are what receives the audio. They are pretty comfortable. I haven't had to adjust these. They fit me pretty nicely as they were out of the package. When you turn them on, you hold down the center button. You'll hear a beep thing and letting you know it's on. Same thing to turn it off. Up and down for volume. I rocked it on the lowest volume and it was perfectly fine for my needs. They are pretty sensitive on the higher pitches, but I'm pretty happy. The reason I purchased these were because they fit perfectly under the harness for the 6B47. That's what their intended use is, is for under a helmet. I didn't feel like shelling out money for US ones and it wouldn't be proper. So I think I paid 50 bucks for these roughly. The battery life, I got, I'd say, between six and eight hours of continuous use for the two double A's. Double A's aren't really known for their extended battery life. I mean, I'm relatively happy for that. I haven't used other headsets to the extent I have these at that 40-hour event. Because like, I, I was shooting blanks the entire event, so I pretty much had these on the entire time. I have noticed that when I go to turn them off, there are times that it takes two attempts to turn them off. It'll beep as as giving you the tone that it turned off, but they'll remain on. So you just gotta do it a second time. 
I haven't had to do it more than two times. I don't know if that's a fault in the item, but just something to keep in mind. The pads, they're pretty comfortable. I had no comfort issues other than the, the harness itself after, towards the end of the weekend at about 40 hours. They started getting a little uncomfortable, but not unbearable. Fits nicely under the straps of the 6B47. Next up for review, knee pads and elbow pads. Nothing really special. The I purchased them new because there was hardly any price difference that I figured I might as well just get new versus used. Uh, they are considered, I do believe, the 6B51 in the Ratnik series. The elbow pads I ha honestly haven't used. I chose not to wear them at this 40 hour event because well, I just chose not to. I just threw them in my rock, honestly. Uh, both the ad adjustments are the same. Just go through a ring and then back on itself with Velcro. Pretty simple. I've tried them on. They're not overly uncomfortable, but then again, I haven't put them through their paces. And the knee pads, I wore for about half the time. And then after that, it, they started getting un uncomfortable. So for extended events and extended use, I, I'm i not a big knee pad, elbow pad fan, so maybe it's just me, but these kept bunching up on the back of the calf, and it was just getting irritating. So I took them off through them and went right then. The adjustments, just take it around your leg, put it wherever, and that flat. Velcro and then you got Velcro on both sides. See, I wanted it in. I think I paid 45 bucks for the pair new, roughly. I feel as though it's money well spent for the impression, at least. Um, knee pads did their job. If I was just going out for like one day of airsoft, I, w I wouldn't have an issue. But the extended military simulations, 40 hours continuous, they got old quickly, I guess you could say. So that's my opinion. Worth the money, good for short missions, extended use, nah. One take. 